analysis, you'll be able to describe the operation of a diesel engine oil lubrication system and explain how it can become contaminated with fuel or water. You'll also be able to describe the appearance of engine oil that has become contaminated and you'll also be able to list from memory four important clues to detect the presence of contaminants in your engine's oil system. The dipstick on your truck will tell you a lot more than just the level of the oil in the crankcase. It is an important source of information and an excellent early warning indicator of what's going on in your truck's engine. Your truck's diesel engine contains three important fluids. Engine oil for lubrication, water or a water antifreeze mixture for cooling, and diesel oil for fuel. Diesel engines are designed to prevent these three liquids from mixing. Your daily pre-trip inspection, which includes checking the dipstick, can detect any breach of this design early before engine damage can result. Let's move inside the shop where we have a cutaway model of a diesel engine and we can observe the flow of a typical oil lubricating system. First is the oil pan where most of the oil is stored. Depending on the engine type, there is approximately 6 to 10 gallons of oil that is circulated through the engine about 6 times a minute depending on the engine RPMs. The gear pump pulls the oil out from the sump, or the deepest part of the pan, up through the suction screen. And then it goes through the pump and sends it through the filter and under pressure throughout the remainder of the engine. Ultimately, it returns back into the pan for recirculation. To keep the oil cool, it passes through a water-chilled oil cooler on every circulation. As the very name implies, this oil cooler is a potential for water-contaminated oil. When the oil cooler fails, the oil, which has a higher pressure, will force itself into the coolant system. You will be able to notice this by an oil residue or rainbow film in the coolant. When the engine is stopped, the oil pressure goes to zero. The cooling system, still under pressure, under certain circumstances forces itself back into the oil system. 